All right, so now that you have Rust installed in your machine, and if you don't, if you don't, I'll put a link to the video that I did showing how to do that in this video, somewhere like right here. But if you do have it installed, it is time. Yes, that's right, it is time to do ye old customary hello world. And you know what, if you are a new dev or you're just learning how to code and you just happen to choose Rust for your first programming language, good job, smart decision by the way, smart decision. If that is the case, then, and you have no idea what a Hello World is, Hello World is just kind of like the customary first program that you write when you're learning a new programming language. And the objective here is to just interact with the terminal and just have the terminal print out the words, Hello World. All right, so now that I got my terminal pulled up, let's go ahead and make a new directory or a new folder for this little Hello World Rust project that we're gonna do. And I'll just be, super leet and I'll just use the terminal. I'll type MKDIR, which you guys don't know what that stands for. It just stands for make directory, but I'm sure you guys probably do. Then I'm going to make or give the name of the repository. I'm just going to call it hello dash world dash rust. All right. And now that we created this directory, let's change into this directory. So just CD change directory. Hello world rust. Now let's make a file and let's just call this file main.rs. So let me do touch main.rs. This should create us a file or a Rust file called main. I got that. If you guys don't believe me, go ahead, take a look. Take a look, see right here. Take a look at Ruski at my good old project folder. All right, so now that you guys have this file created, Go ahead and open it up in some kind of text editor. I'm just gonna use TextMate because I'm lazy. As you guys can see down here though, bottom left, I have Rust selected for syntax highlighting and whatever else is included in TextMate's quote unquote Rust bundle. That's not important though. So now we gotta go get to typing. We gotta put our hands on the keyboard. So let's do that. And if you guys are already familiar with like more quote unquote strongly typed languages, maybe some kind of object oriented programming language like Java or C Sharp, you guys already know that you need a main function in order to run your program. So we're going to type just that, or exactly that, rather. We're going to make our main function, and that's really all we're going to need. And how do you make a function in Rust? What is the keyword to declare a function? That's going to be fn. fn, and then let's just call this function main, m-a-i-n. Open, close params, open, close curly braces, nothing crazy yet. So now we need to get the... We need to get access to whatever function it is in Rust's standard library that is gonna to print to the command line or the terminal, and that just happens to be print ln. Now, you gotta add an exclamation mark after the print ln, okay? And then open close params, we're just gonna pass this function, the string H-E-L-L-O-W, hello, hello, space, W-R-L-D, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And yes, guys, you do need to have a semicolon right there. Boy, oh boy, did I miss using semicolons. All right, so go ahead and save that, guys. And now what we can do is let's head back to our terminal and let's run this thing. But before we can even run that, we have to compile it because Rust does need to be compiled. So how are we going to compile Rust? We need to do Rust C which stands for Rust compiler, and then the name of our file, which is gonna be main.rs. And boom, look at that, it compiled. And to know that if it compiled or not, guys, if you see no output, then you, sh you should just, you should know that it's compiled. If you see some kind of error, then you know that it didn't compile. All right, guys, so in order to just check real quick that you actually have the compiled file, Go ahead and go back to your repository that has your main.rs file. And you should see this main file right here that's an executable. And if you have that, you're good to go. All right, so let's run it now. And all you have to do to do that is type dot slash main. Bada boom, bada bing. There we go. Hello, with a W at the end, world. So there you go. That's it. You got your hello world. You wrote your first program in Rust. Golf club, kudos to you. Smash the like, guys. See ya.